Have you ever wanted to create drone footage using an image? If you don't mind saving a few simoleons, I can show you how to create some cool looking drone shots without using a drone in PowerDirector 365. I have an image of a winding road on the timeline. Now, I need some aerial video footage that follows the road up the hill, but I don't have a drone. So I'm gonna use this image to create my own drone footage. I'll start off by left clicking on the video generator. I'm gonna go to image to video. And I'm gonna choose the image and text tab. Now here it says click or drag your photo here. I'm gonna left click, go to the location on my computer that has the image I wanna use. I'm gonna left click on the image and I'm gonna click on open. Now we're going to keep the aspect ratio at 16 by nine. And you want to position this blue box over the image for the part that you want to follow or whatever you want to have in your image. You can place your cursor over a node, hold down your left mouse and drag it. Once you see those two lines with the arrows on either end, it'll change it to the position as you drag it. I'm going to go ahead and type in the scale and position that I want because I know exactly where I want this box to be. Now I'm going to click on OK. And before I explain the rest of these settings to you, I need you to explain to me why you haven't clicked the like button yet. Or you can just click the like button, subscribe to Power Director University, and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. Now on the right side of the screen has the rest of the settings that we're going to select. For mode, we're going to choose standard. If you decide to do professional, it'll have higher quality and more details, but it'll cost you 20 more credits. For duration, we're gonna do 10 seconds. We're gonna do 10 seconds because we want it to be longer and have more opportunity to make it look like it's moving up the screen. And for aspect ratio, we're gonna keep that at 16 by nine. Under audio settings, we're gonna leave this box checked. It's a uh, generate sound with AI. So now it's gonna try to generate sound based on what it sees in the image and what you're telling it to do. Now, on the left-hand side, we have the preview screen, and then we have describe your story. So under describe your story, this is what we're gonna tell PowerDirector we want it to do. So I'm just gonna do a simple um, text here. Now this text I got from my man, Steve Williams, or Limitless Wave. Go check out his channel on YouTube because he helped me out with this tutorial by helping me figure out I need to simplify things a little bit. So it's gonna be a simple phrase. Follow the winding road, pretty easy. Now, down here it says generate, it tells us how many credits it's gonna cost us. We're gonna uh, use 30 credits for this, so I'm gonna left click on it. Up here on the right hand corner, it says we're processing your image to video ta uh, task. When it's done, you can find the video in my gen AI creations. I can left click on got it. Now I can even do other things Wait, they're also gonna send me an email when it's done. What I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna go to uh, profile. I'm gonna go to my gen AI creations. And we see here that under AI video generator, we have one file and you can see that it's processing right now. So I can left click on it. Once it's done, you can left click on view. And if you like what you see, you can click on add to timeline. And we can go ahead and play this back. If you want to see how a power director can bring images of people to life, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and purchase power director using the links in the video description to help the channel stay alive.